Hi, welcome back to a new video. This week I'm doing another video on the Pi 5. In this week's video I'm going to install the latest version of Ubuntu desktop onto the Raspberry Pi 5 instead of using a Raspberry Pi OS. One of the benefits of installing Ubuntu desktop instead of using Raspberry Pi OS is you may prefer or may be more familiar with Ubuntu. You may also prefer the selection of packages available with Ubuntu. I'm going to show you how to take your micro SD card and copy the latest version of Ubuntu for Raspberry Pi onto it and how to complete the setup of Ubuntu on your Pi 5. And finally, I'm going to install the SSH server on our new Ubuntu desktop so we can connect it remotely. So let's get going. So we're now at our Windows desktop and we have the Raspberry Pi imager up and ready. So we need to get our micro SD card out of our Raspberry Pi and plug it into the computer ready to image. So we'll do that now. So if we flip our Raspberry Pi over, we can take the micro SD card out and then pop it into the micro SD card reader I've got here. And then we can plug that into the PC here. So back to the Windows desktop, our SD card is ready to use. So on the Raspberry Pi imager, we need to click on Choose Device and then select Raspberry Pi 5 and then we'll choose the OS and we're going to click on Other General Purpose OS and then select Ubuntu and then select Ubuntu Desktop here and now we need to choose storage. I'm going to select our micro SD card and click next. Now at this point everything on the micro SD card is going to be erased once we click yes. So please make sure that you backed up anything that's really important on there as everything will be permanently deleted. So then we've done that click yes to start the process. So when the data is being copied to the SD card, you're going to see this message. And we can click continue on here. And then let's get our SD card out of the computer and back into the Raspberry Pi. So we'll take the SD card out of the SD card reader, insert the micro SD card back into the Pi. Now as the Raspberry Pi 5 has a power button, we can just press that to start up the Raspberry Pi. If you are doing this on a different Raspberry Pi, then turn the power on now. So now we're back on the Raspberry Pi and you can see the setup program is loaded. So we just need to go through a few basic options and then Ubuntu on our Raspberry Pi will be ready to use. So the first option we need to choose is our language. So this language is fine for me, so I'm going to click continue. The next setting is our keyboard layout. So I want English UK, so I'm going to select continue on there. Now the next thing we need to choose is our Wi-Fi network. Now I'm connected with an Ethernet cable, so I don't need this right now. So I'm going to leave. I don't want to connect to a Wi-Fi network selected. But if you do want to choose your Wi-Fi from the list, enter the encryption password and you should be connected to your Wi-Fi network. So we'll click continue on there. So now we need to select our region. And this is for things like the time zone and which currency symbol to use. Now it may not show your exact location as it doesn't for me, but London is near enough for me. So I'm going to select that and click continue. So the final step of the setup is creating a user account and setting our workstation name. So I'll enter a name for the Pi here and then my name, which automatically fills in the username. But you can change that if you want to and then enter a password. And confirm your password and I would recommend leaving require my password to log in enabled and then click continue. Now the installer will complete the setup process and after a few moments we'll reboot into our Raspberry Pi desktop login screen. So here we are at our new Ubuntu workstation login screen. So if we click on our username and then enter our password that we've just chosen and press enter we should log in to our Raspberry Pi desktop. When the desktop's loaded, this welcome wizard will start. So we can just click skip on this first option 
and I'm going to select no I don't want to send information and click next now a couple of times that I tried this I did notice it did say it's not responding but if you wait a few seconds it does continue I don't want to enable location services so I'm going to click done on this screen here and on this final screen I'm just going to click done so now our Ubuntu desktop is ready to use but there are a couple of additional steps that we should do so the first one is to install our software updates if you sit at the desktop for a few moments you should see the prompt pop up to install the software updates and if you do then you can click install now to do the installation but if that doesn't pop up I'm going to show you how to open the software updater from the menu so just for the purpose of this video I'm going to click remind me later so go down to the apps menu and search for update and then select software update here and this should start the updater in the same way and if we click install now it will download all of our updates and get them installed we just need to enter the password and click authenticate now we'll fast forward through the updates and come back when they're complete now with the updates completed it's probably a good idea to restart our system so we'll click restart now to reboot now we're back at our desktop after rebooting and the final thing that I'm going to do is enable the open SSH server so that I can connect this Raspberry Pi over the network from another computer by default this Ubuntu desktop installation doesn't include the OpenSSH server already so we're going to install that now so I'm going to go over to the applications menu and start the terminal and now we just need to run one command to install and enable our OpenSSH server so we need to type sudo space apt space install space open ssh dash server and press enter and now type our password and press enter and then type y and press enter and the installation will start and after not very long our installation will complete and the final thing I'm going to do is get the IP address of this Raspberry Pi that I can use on our Windows desktop to connect to this machine over the network so I'm going to type in here host name space minus capital I and it will return an IP address and it will look something like this now the actual IP address here will probably be different to this and that's fine just make a note of that and we'll move over to our Windows desktop we're now back at our Windows desktop and I'll show you how to connect to the Raspberry Pi using SSH so we want to click on the start menu and then all apps and we'll scroll down to find terminal and I'll full screen this so we can see better so we need to type this command in here SSH space then our username then an at symbol and then the IP address that we got earlier now when we've typed that in and press enter now you'll see a message asking to accept the security key of the Raspberry Pi now the first time you connect to an SSH server you usually get this message so type yes in here and press enter now if we enter our password and press enter we will be logged into our Raspberry Pi remotely which is pretty good I hope this video was helpful as I mentioned at the start I install Ubuntu on my Pi because I do find the desktop environment more familiar which makes it easy to swap between this and other Ubuntu workstations that I use and I do like the software selection available so thanks for watching leave a comment below to let me know how you get on and please consider subscribing if you can it will be much appreciated see you soon